Welcome to your Cohesion Classroom. In this lesson, we'll take a look at strategies for mental addition and subtraction. At the end of this video, you'll have access to our tips and takeaways, allowing you to focus on the content. You can always access any of our tips and takeaways from the lesson page before or after watching the lesson. Mental strategies are useful when adding or subtracting large numbers in your head, potentially when paper and pencil is not available or convenient. These strategies are to help students increase their efficiency when solving addition and subtraction problems. Let's take a look at an example of a strategy for addition and subtraction. Students can use the strategy of counting by tens and ones to find the sum or difference. For example, when adding 67 plus 14, students would count on to get to the nearest 10, which is 70. Next, count on 10 more to get to 80, and then count on one more, which is the amount left over from the 14, to get the answer 81. This works the same for both addition and subtraction, with the exception of counting backwards rather than forward. Students can also use the strategy of using compatible or friendly numbers to find the sum or difference. For example, step one, break apart the add-ins into compatible numbers. 137 might break into 135 and two, and 243 might break into 240 and three. Step two, add the sums. So 135 and 240 is 375 plus the sums of two and three, which is five. So you're left with 375 plus five, which is 380. So the answer to 137 plus 243 is 380. Let's take a look at how to subtract using compatible or friendly numbers. Only this time, we'll use place value to find our easy to work with numbers. Let's use this strategy to subtract 564 minus 243. To start, we would expand 564 to represent each place value, so 560 and 4. Then we would do the same for 243, 200, 40, and 3. Now we would subtract each place value, so 500 minus 200 equals 300, 60 minus 40 equals 20, and 4 minus 3 equals 1. Finally, we add these together to arrive at our answer of 321. Please note that this subtraction strategy, as well as many others, do not work as easily as addition strategies every time. For some of the available subtraction strategies to work easily, the tens and ones place in the top number must be greater than the tens and one place in the bottom number. If they're not, regrouping is needed, and at that point, place value subtraction would be the best option. When in doubt, always use traditional place value subtraction to subtract a smaller number from a greater number. Students may make computational errors when breaking apart the numbers and then putting them back together. If students are struggling to do this in their head, have them show the same strategy on paper until they're ready to move to the mental computation. Using the number line or counting by tens and ones strategy will most likely be easier for students to understand conceptually. As mentioned in the mastery section, sometimes subtraction strategies will not work as easily as regrouping is required. If this is the case, place value will always work. Students should master these strategies on paper before attempting to use them as mental math or in your head strategies. If students struggle with the content in this lesson, try the video titled, Use Place Value to Round to the Nearest 10 or 100, which includes instruction on utilizing compatible numbers. Students really need a solid understanding of place value in order to apply addition and subtraction strategies.
Uniting students and families in learning, we are cohesion education. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.